Hi guys, we're up here with Deluxe Gaming, and welcome back to my reassembly series, Season 4, Episode 2, and the Cannoneers! And of course, well, Cannoneers for now, uh, we'll be deciding on a theme very, very soon. Oh, jackpot! Oh, score! Oh! Oh, I hope there's a station nearby. Oh, there's bad guys. <laughs> so, uh, this is actually part of the same recording session as Episode 1, so... <laughs> I, I I may have not uh, we may we, well of course you guys probably will have given me ideas for names and stuff already but uh, uh, well I'll be reading those for the next episode for sure uh, for this episode we're just gonna grow and maybe add on to the ship and that might actually change what people decide for on a name as far as a theme uh, of course that's up in the air too right now we don't know yet um, all I know right now is that we need to grow and. Like I said, we've we've finished all of our research already. <laughs> it's all done! So we just need to build ships. That's all we need to do. And we need to explore this faction and see what kind of cool designs we can make with the parts that are available. Yeah, like struts. Uh, so triangles, squares, rectangles. Triangles, struts, re squares, rectangles. Might be able to do something fancy with them. Like I remember with faction 2, you could... Uh, not only adjust the size of some of those parts, but you could... <laughs> uh, you, you could not only adjust, adjust the size, but you could also adjust what exactly uh, the different shapes to as well. So you could turn the rectangle into a different uh, length and width uh, rectangles as well. Oh, I guess we need to unload. Okay. I don't know if that makes any sense, but you could you could change change the actual shapes as well as the sizes of each parts. So it just added you just had so much diversity and choice in in uh, in that while playing that faction. Okay, so it looks like we are already officially at war with the faction two. Uh, okay, drones. I keep forgetting I have drones. I have to remember to just keep launching them. Now I know that we are having power problems, so I definitely definitely having power problems here so uh, that's something that we need to work on right away let's go capture another station or two before we start making any more changes so that we've got uh, lots of choices for um, <laughs> for making upgrades too as well because uh, we want to have as big a ship as possible as quick as possible although I am really enjoying this whole dog fighting thing um, oh, look at all the guardians here uh oh uh, can we sneak in and maybe grab this? That would be awesome. They're like guarding. Not See, that's the advantage of being small. They can't see me. <laughs> Captured them. Now you're in trouble. <laughs> oh, awesome. I love it. Capture them. Take the base. <laughs> oh, fantastic. Oh, yes. I love starting off near the uh, the red guys. The, the buttery guy. Oh, no. There I was making fun of them. Got a lucky shot. I think they do have some some pretty good weapons um, if they get you at the right angle. Um, but oh man, ah, oh, see, and I love the designs, the uh, faction three ships. I think I think they look they look really cool. But they are definitely challenging. Look at the firepower on that ship. Oh wow, that's all drones. I see the drones are just eating them up. Ooh, see, they are damaging my ship. They do they do some pretty serious damage. Once they get going, uh, sell that. Yeah. All right. I think we're almost ready for an upgrade. <laughs> I love it. I love it. And it's really hard to pick an upgrade until we've picked a theme. But I don't know. It's. I think we also have to. Oh man, that's okay. That's okay. All right. Uh, I think I'm ready. Oh, let's grab the. Oh. Ah. No. I didn't see him coming. <laughs> Uh, yeah, we're definitely at war. Um, but you see, capture those stations, and uh, those drones are just eating them up. Ah! Sorry, I had to cut my way through there. It looks like they have the, the little dr lasers as well, which is uh, scary, because it doesn't take very much to cut through the hull of my ship or my shields right now, and those lasers, they've got some really effective lasers at close range. Definitely something to consider when I do start playing them. And I can't, I can't support. See, I keep running out of power. That's why I keep. Sh that's why I stop shooting because I'm out of power. Ah, escape! But fortunately, these ships do rebuild very quickly. <laughs> I think I should be relying on all of my allies' drones and stuff for protection right now. Uh, ooh, bits. I love bits. 
Yes, juicy. Yum, 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 yum. Okay, let's let's do some upgrading. All right, so we are up to 855p already. That's brilliant. Okay, so let's. Shall we modify our first ship? Yes, let's do it. Uh, I'm going to fast forward it, and then we'll talk about what we've done. Okay, be right back. I'm actually quite pleased with him. Now, I've learned a couple things here. Uh, first off, uh, there is... So there's two different levels of damage. So there's the energy 4% shot plus 60%. So it takes uh, an extra 4% per shot, I guess, with this particular weapon booster. And this one is 2% per shot? I'm, I'm not quite sure exactly what that means. It, it, maybe the whole weapon requires an extra 4% using this particular damage amplifier, and so this one uses an extra 2%. I can see how you would eventually need a ship that's just all generators, I think, because <laughs> it's crazy. And uh, so th I've, I've also learned that, uh, yeah, like I was saying before, there is, uh, with these struts, so when you make them smaller and larger, they actually change the, the shapes. So yeah, that's kind of cool. Right, kind of cool. I think, actually, maybe they're all the same then. Yeah, they are. Okay, so, no, it's just, there is no, the only one that's bigger is the triangle. There's two different types of triangle here. I don't know what the difference is. They stretch 0p. Okay, so there's three different sizes and three different sizes. They look identical. <laughs> Okay, so yeah, everything you you can get with this race is right here. There there isn't a lot of parts. Uh, so what I, what I've done with the ship is I wanted to have this ship. I wanted primarily to be kind of a hollery kind of thing. In other words, capable of storing a lot of uh, R, so that we can progress and and take a uh, take all that R and and use it to upgrade our P. And uh, another thing I noticed there is no like where's where's the factory? There's no fact. Oh, there is a factory. Never mind. <laughs> it just wasn't on the list. Okay. Or something. Oh, we actually... Oh, okay. We, I guess we still do need to research those. Oh, okay. I thought we, we got them all, but I guess I guess we didn't. Okay. Good to know. Okay, so I'm pretty happy with that. Let's, let's save it and see how it flies. I can't imagine it's going to fly too well off the bat. So what I've done is I've added, uh, of course three short-range heavy damage weapons and four long-range weapons, which are going to be flimsy. They're right on the outside of the ship. And uh, I did four shields, or six shields, six shields rather, and uh, let's actually let's mess with our bindings. So point of fence, so left mouse button, and these, the, the four on the outside are longer range. So, whoops. <laughs> because it considers them all the same type of weapon, even though they are different in function. So the ones in the center will do more damage, and the ones on the outside will have longer range. Um, except the ones on the on the outside uh, are going to be pretty flimsy. They're going to come off pretty easily because there's nothing protecting them. Uh, I don't know. should be interesting. Oh, yeah. Look at that. It almost looks like, looks like the Schmutz Launcher. So uh, do lots of damage right down the center and long range. Yeah, look at that. Oh, does that ever look cool? Oh, I love it. Oh, ah, bad guy. Didn't no, see the bad. Ah, damn it. <laughs> Didn't realize it was going to be a bad guy right there. I, I should have turned and fired. Um, I, I tried the whole try and escape tactic. That didn't work very well for me. Okay, so yeah, we've got a huge, well, a pretty big uh, hold on this. It, it can hold 2,003 R, so we should be able to build up pretty quickly. I'm pretty excited. Let's go capture some more stations, guys. 
So yeah, for a second there, I thought there was no factory, but no, I still have to research the factory. So what does it say here? So yeah, factory. Okay, yeah. So it wants me to unlock the factory, and I think it's like a thousand P to do that. Oh, so I should be able to use my long range guns to snipe this guy. And then when it gets in close, getting, oh, am I running out of power? Oh no, I just, uh... there we go. Having trouble aiming. It's always, <laughs> the first few minutes in a ship is always a challenge, right? Uh, this ship is excellent one-on-one. -on -one. I, I mean, sorry, this faction, I, I'm thinking the, the ships will be excellent one-on-one, -on -one, but in against a whole of, array of bad guys, maybe not so much. I don't know, hard to say. Uh, this, this requires a lot of aiming. <laughs> so far, um, I've proven probably in all of my series that aiming is maybe not my strongest suit. Uh, yeah, it's it's pretty durable, um, but keep in mind we are fighting just the red guys. Yeah, definitely, the, the gun loses steam pretty quickly. Look at that. It's, it's stopped firing that fast, and is it because it's damaged or something? Okay, yeah. These little guys doesn't matter anyway, and I don't know if, how if, how good these long range guns really are. I mean, I guess they're okay. It's always good to have a long range gun on your on your ship too as well. So yeah, there we go. Okay, so I see it goes down pretty fast that center gun. I wonder if we should maybe add some shields right in the center there, or some armor to protect that main gun because uh, yeah, it's going down pretty fast. Um, very effective. Once if I've got them targeted, uh, they're. They'll go down very, very quickly. All right. <laughs> Stop moving. Yeah, the little guns, uh, even though they're they're long range, but they, they don't appear to be doing that much damage. So, I don't know. The the main gun is, is where it's at. Look at that. Just crush them almost instantly. The little guns, um, they might do some damage to these guys. <laughs> or not. Ah! Uh-oh. Uh, I can sure... Actually, you can take the hits pretty well with this machine. Okay. Really? Oh, no! Oh, bugger! They come in and they just... Ah. I, I think I think there is merit to the red faction. Oh, man. We had a bunch of stuff in our hold, too. I'm just testing out the ship to see how well it it's going to uh, fare here. And uh, I think we're going to have to seriously make some upgrades. Uh, right. We're going to capture stations. Let's, let's do that. And then we can maybe upgrade, get our factory... And then start pumping out ships. Although we want to have good ships to pump out. And I need a name for this ship. So if you guys have not already provided with a me with a name, then uh, I, I need a name, guys. Ooh. Ooh. Getting close. I should, I should have drones on this ship, too. Because, of course, as we see in the tournaments... Blast. He's, he's got a lot of firepower. So, yeah, the red the red faction, the firepower is really good. It's, it's nothing wrong with that. Uh, let's see if we can take, take that guy out. Aim, damn it! <laughs> yeah, these 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 guns aren't so great. I have to get in close. Yeah, there, it's like that. Um, but I, yeah, the red faction—they do a fair amount of damage. So I don't know. Still highly dangerous. Okay, let's capture this station over here. Perfect. Excellent. Oh, hello. Yeah, I might just get rid of those, uh, or figure out a different way to do those guns on the side because they don't seem to be doing enough damage and they require a whole lot of aiming and sometimes that's okay um, but it really it's on a stationary target I guess I would be okay <laughs> otherwise ah oh, okay back to the station let's go let's go let's go let's go come on nice actually I really like having that art container right in the back there because uh, it kind of nice very nice so just run away to the station and the station does all the dirty work um, I like having that container in the back. It seems to be taking enough damage, um, protecting the ship in a lot of ways from the bad guys here. I might add some more lasers. Those lasers are so good, but just need more of them, right? And uh, but I think you know you go go through the energy pretty quickly after a while. Okay, so we are doing some pretty serious damage to this faction. <laughs> uh, they have destroyed us a couple times, but uh, they're they're losing ground. They're losing ground as we capture stations here. Okay, let's go capture another station. Oh yeah, <laughs> awesome. Okay, here we go. And it looks like, yeah, we're gonna have to build some stations with this faction too. Although I don't, you know, with no turreted guns, I don't, yeah, you really have to rely on drones 
And, uh, yeah, drones. Drones and lasers, that's it. Oh, there goes my phone again. I should probably turn that off when I record. <laughs> uh, ooh. Ooh, he's... Pretty. Looks like he's got... Hold on, I gotta take a look at this. Come here. Hold on. Uh, three... Oh, wait. Uh, can I... Ah, no, no, no. No, no, sorry. Uh, it's a tab. Can I take a look at him? There we go. Big 14 ship P big. So, oh, yeah, look at his guns. So they're just super long range. Uh, maybe not so good for short range. And he looks pretty brittle. I don't know. I he, Maybe not so good overall, but I don't know. I, I still like the design. He's got really long guns, which means uh, they should do either lots of damage or really fast damage or something. I don't know. <laughs> it looks like he's got big shields on there, too. Actually, the big shields have nice range on them. Oh, look, he's, he acquired a gun from somebody, a turreted gun. Oh, I wish you could do that in the game. I wish you could steal weapons. And I, I originally, uh, according to Arthur Danskin, the developer of the game, um, you were able to steal or gather, you know, if there was a gun just lying on the ground here, like, so say the ship has this little gun here and I wanted it, you could steal guns from enemies at one point, And then he took that feature out because uh, it was too good. <laughs> Because it was weapons that you couldn't normally get in the main game that all of a sudden you were able to get. Uh, and they were just way, way, way too good. And, of course, this faction with turrets as well would be just incredible. And, of course, they're, they're pretty good as it is. Oh, I'm in command mode. That's why. Yeah, so these red guys, they... Although they can't take a lot of damage, they can certainly deal it. And at this point in the game, uh, when you know we're still young like this, we haven't developed that far. We've only had one major evolution. Um, we can't take that much damage. And uh, these guys come along; they get a chance to shoot those little those little pelty guns. Uh, they can actually, you know, hurt our feelings. Let's go capture another station. <laughs> awesome. Let's just uh, scoot by these guys. Nice speed, nice speed and maneuverability on the ship. Very happy with that. Okay, but looks like it's probably going to be protected. Oh, the bees. Ah, I see bees. Oh, yes. Look at this. The city builders. Yes, the bees. Very cool. So, yes, uh, they are the laser drone faction that... Uh, one of the laser drone factions that does very well in the tournaments. <laughs> Probably the leading... The, the highest ranked uh, faction in the game. Oh, uh, Faction 4 is a close second, I'd say. Like, they're very, very close. Oh, yeah, here they come. The laser drones. Did you see those? Pretty sure I saw some laser drones here. Maybe not. But, uh, yeah, there we go. Awesome. Okay, so let's go maybe beat up some of these guys. Ooh, yikes. Okay, we need to get we need to get some factories here because... Wow. Didn't take him long, did he? Maybe I should have turned around and shot at him. <laughs> ah, see, but if he gets in my sights, if he's directly in front of me, he's toast. I wonder how well I would fare against this guy through the shields. Hubble, yes! Nice, didn't think I was going to win that. I know you guys didn't think I was going to win that either. I had some help from some drones, though. <laughs> that was awesome. All right, let's sell it before we lose it. <laughs> awesome. The city builders. I, I'm really excited to try them at some point, too. I don't know how these cities work. Like, I'm assuming that you build them, and then uh, they have guns on them, as you can see. You can see the guns tracking me. <laughs> uh, right, let's go away. I don't remember if you get lots and lots of... Uh, so this might be a good place for long-range guns. No, the long-range guns, they just don't do any damage. There's no point. There we go. Don't know if you get much for points for killing these guys. Kill it! Oh, man. They're tough, actually. Quite tough. Uh, we just don't have the guns to be able to deal with that. And our, we keep knocking off our front gun because we ram stuff. Because, uh, I don't know. I've always kind of used ramming as a tactic. <laughs> uh, okay, super fun. Uh, I think I'll come back to the city builders after we've done an upgrade or two. We may actually... I don't know. Should we do another upgrade? This, this, uh, I, th I, think, I think we're probably going to call this an episode pretty quick. Um, we, we made some progress, but I'm... I'm not going to do any more episodes until we get some names because, uh, and sort of settle on a theme because I think we need to decide what our demeanor should be in the universe. Are we going to be kind of passive like the nanovirus was? Are we going to be 
Actually, the nanovirus, I would say, yeah, the nanovirus is probably very passive. The Aldravan or the crystal, they're kind of assertive, but, and then the, the insectoids were highly aggressive. I perceive these guys as being hunters, total, complete hunters. And, you know, each ship designed for killing one ship at a time very, very effectively and very quickly. <laughs> uh, super fun. Oh, I just love this. You know, it reminds me of Primordial Soup. Especially at the beginning of a game. Oh, look at this. See, the, the, the faction, the, the red faction, they have weapons. The guns are good. The guns, there is no dispute that the guns are good. Ah, let's get out of here. Let's get, go, go, go. Ah, okay. Maybe it's time to fight. I don't know. Too late. Ah, we still got rear, rear engines. <laughs> oh, no. Go, go, go. Oh, do we still have rear engines? Yes, we do. Okay. Can always fly in the opposite direction until those are built and it looks like oh there's another guy <laughs> problem is uh, to kill these guys I have to face directly towards them and when I'm facing directly towards the red faction they actually have substantial amount of damage dealing weapons and my weapon keeps getting knocked off so maybe we'll make that an adjustment to that right now before we go because yeah that's unacceptable this keeps getting knocked off so how do we prevent that well we're gonna build a bridge <laughs> something to protect it Okay, fast forward. Okay, I'm gonna have to do a quick upgrade here, but that should protect our main gun a little better. Of course, we want to get some shields up front too as well. I just, uh, you know, just something quick, quick and dirty and see if that uh, that will uh, improve things. Hold on, let's upgrade. <laughs> oh, wow, you know, oh, I should have, I should have, ah, I should have bought the factory. <laughs> uh, oh, well, too late now, too late now, that's fine. <laughs> okay, so yeah, oh yeah, so it kind of protects it. It's, it's nice and buried and behind. I like it, I like it, and of course, uh, still lots and lots of engines to make it highly maneuverable. Let's just go test this and then we'll call it an episode. Uh, of course, we need to modify those side guns too as well because they're they're really quite useless. They don't do anything for us. Um, oh, yes. See, now I can ram them. Ooh, I got another achievement. There we go. I still... It's still tricky to aim, eh? I think with these little guys... Uh, you know, the lasers are really highly effective. Well, let's... Let's see, so I can ram. <laughs> yes, I'm ramming, and uh, the armor isn't disappearing right away, so... Therefore, we're able, we're able to have our guns for a second or two. Looks like we're getting a little bit of lag here, which is weird. Um, I kind of got myself stuck. <laughs> uh, yeah... Uh, oh, I see the lasers are trying to hit the, the city. Stop trying to hit the city and attack this guy. Will ya? Come on. <laughs> really? Ah, oh, kill him! Ah, oh, the bees are the nemesis of Faction 4, for sure. Ah, there's a bee. Look at that. He, one little bee caused all sorts of trouble. Oh, I am lagging or something. Well, on that note, I think we're going to call it an episode. I'm liking the development here. It looks really, really good. I, I am loving this again. It's been a long time since I've just had a chance to just play Reassembly. I've done the two episodes today, Episode 1 and Episode 2. And uh, hopefully by Episode 3, we will have some names. Oh, I lost a full front end. Wow, he hit me once. Front end gone. Crazy. Uh, so by episode three, hopefully we'll have some names and maybe a theme for the faction. So if you have an idea for the theme or the names or names for ships, uh, please leave a comment below and uh, we'll try and incorporate that into the playthrough here. So anyway, guys, I hope you've enjoyed it. I'm having a blast once again with Reassembly and uh, we'll talk to you soon. Take care.